deathmatch. Hey guys, what's going on? It's this guy from Red here, and I'm just doing another Black Ops 2 gameplay video on me playing on the map Overflow on Team Deathmatch. And I go 29 for 13 in this game. Uh, this is pretty much one of my average games, as I do die a lot here and there, but I kick ass in score. <laughs> so yeah, I'm pretty happy with myself, but um, today I'm going to be doing a commentary on your my first ever video game that I ever played. Okay, so... Going back to when I was like a little, little kid, right? <laughs> <And I> little. <laughs> I can just imagine myself a little god. I'm like nearly 18 as it is now. And um, yeah, my first ever game I ever played was Crash Bandicoot. Now, Crash Bandicoot was based on the console PS1, so PlayStation 1, or PlayStation, which was the first ever console that I'm pretty sure that came out as a bigger and higher seller, okay? They had all the Nintendos and things before that. I never really, I never played them. I um I got introduced to so um introduced on the PlayStation 1 with my parents, um basically. And my uncle, my uncle was a big influence as well for gaming for me. But basically, um I played Crash Bandicoot, right? And basically Crash Bandicoot is a bandicoot who like crashes boxes and collects apples and survives throughout levels and I, I absolutely love that game that was the first game I ever played and my parents were a big fan of it and so was I so that's how I got brought up onto and then I eventually went on to the PlayStation 2 which also had the other Crash Bandicoots on it now I was such a big fan of Crash Bandicoot it was just unbelievable like the amount of times I say Crash Bandicoot in this video is gonna be a lot <laughs> basically but um yeah, it was just a mad-ass game. You collect 60 apples, you get an extra life, I'm pretty sure. Memory takes me back. But yeah, it's just, that was my first ever video game. And as of, I went on the PlayStation 2, I got into the... I got older, and I got to understand Crash Bandicoot more and more. Um, as of playing Nitro Kart and other ones like that. So, yeah, I was pretty, um, that's what I got brought up to. And then after Crash Bandicoot, I proceeded on to Crash... Uh, la no, Ratchet and Clank, my bad. Oh, jeez. Ratchet and Clank. Now, Ratchet and Clank is another little game that's like Crash Bandicoot, but like uh, more updated to, to PS2 style. And it had a robot named Clank, and Ratchet was a Larbax, I'm pretty sure. A Larbax, I think it is. I think it's a Larbax. I think he was. <laughs> but he used to have a, a Ratchet, and had to do missions and levels on these different parts of the map and then you had another guy named uh, Quirk or Quark or something I think his name is which is another good character who was in it that you used to you were inspired by and you wanted to be like him and you used to travel around the space uh, in a spaceship and things like that and it was pretty cool and then you used to fight aliens and other different species and it was just pretty, pretty cool and then from that, I got introduced with my neighbours across the road uh, from a good friend of mine named Max, um, who was a little bit younger than me but used to play video games as well, into a game called Sly Raccoon. Now, Sly Raccoon was, oh, it's still my all time favourite game as it is today. I just, it just, it blows my mind. It's so good. It's like. For saying it's such a, a, an older game and for like younger uh, people, I still enjoy playing that game till this day. I, I'm thinking of actually putting up a couple videos of it on my channel. If you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments, alright? But yeah, so you got this guy named Sly. You also have another character who's a turtle. Which I cannot remember. Ah, Bentley. His name's Bentley. And then you had also a hippo named Murray. And yeah, and then you three used to go around fighting villains. And basically, the storyline of that was you 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 were an orphan. Uh, basically, your parents died, and you had a, a sacred book that you had to protect. And this book had the uh, called the Thievius Raccoonus. Um, had all different types of uh, movements and things you can do, like secret attacks and things like that. And these um, people stole the book, ripped the pages up, and took a page each. And you basically fight your way back to gain the book back and learn all the techniques yourself as you get older. 
And yeah, it's pretty pretty fun game. I really recommend it. If you guys still got a PS2 out there, go go and crank that up and yeah, get get Sly Raccoon. It's pretty amazing. Or if you got a PS3, um, I'm pretty sure it's on the PSN site um, as well, so you can go and buy it on the PSN site and yeah, and play Sly Raccoon. But yeah, as as I said, Crash Bandicoot was one of my favourites. And yeah, so that's basically uh, my first ever game. And my first console was a PS1. And then from PS1 went to PS2. And then went from PS2 to Xbox. I, had, I got an Xbox. Because me and my dad were big fans of Tiger Woods. And then from Tiger Woods we went to... I think I went to Medal of Honor for a little bit. Because I was interested in shooting games. And I wasn't, a, I wasn't really knew about shooting games as much as I do to today. And so, Medal of Honor was one of my first ever shooting games I ever played. And then from Xbox, I went to PlayStation 3, to where I am today, onto this. And I got that when I was about... I was tw uh, about 13, I think I got a PS3, I'm pretty sure I was. And I've just been playing it ever since, and my uncle influenced me to get P PlayStation, as I used to go to his place, and the first game I ever played on the PlayStation was Call of Duty uh, World at War. So yeah, I'm, you've seen, I think there's a gameplay on my channel of World at War, so go check that out. So basically, if you like this video guys, please like, comment and subscribe, as it does help me out. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, so stay tuned for more to come. And yeah, and I'll catch you guys later, and see yous! All hostiles have been erased. Good job. Team. But let's raid it!